morning, boys and girls. How are you doing? And parents back home, I hope that you're doing well and that God is taking care of you. Those who are watching us from the diaspora online, welcome to the East Assembly Children's Ministry, Children's Church. We have been doing a series on the life of Moses, and today we are going to be learning about complaining and see what happens when people complain, when people have a bad attitude, what usually happens. But before we do that, I think my friend Jabali is around. How many have seen Jabali? Jabali, are you around? Hey, oh. Percy. Hey, I hear him. How are you doing, Jabali? Very fine. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I see you're really, you're breaking your voice, Jabali. It's What's breaking. Happening? You're growing, and I like the way your shirt is. You really, how am I? Uh, thank you. I look smart, you see? Yeah, you look, uh, yo, yo, you look like a homie. Like a homie. Yeah. That's how we dress, me and my brother. So I hope. how old are you, Jabali? I'm 10 years oh, old. Oh, you're 10. Very soon you're going to be turning 11, right? Yeah. Okay, now I want us to sing a song, okay? I want us to do a song together. Uh, I'm trading my sorrows. Do you know that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, uh, let okay. me go and get my friend. We come, we oh, sing together. Oh, you have together. a friend? Yeah. Okay, please do it. Okay, let me come. Okay, so as Jabali uh, goes to, to bring a friend along, oh, this time it's a girl again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, get your dancing shoes and let us do this song. Let us trade our sorrows with Jesus Christ. Eh? When you get Jesus, it's like you're trading your sorrows and you give him all your problems and you let him take care of you. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Are you ready to dance? Yeah, we are ready to dance. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading in my shame. I'm laying them down. I'm, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my sickness. I'm trading my pain. I'm laying them down. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. Let's say yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. I'm saying yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. I'm saying yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. La 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 Amen. Let's do la 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 one more time. La 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 yeah. Boys and girls back home, I know you've been dancing along and singing along with us. Thank you so much. Um, um, let me put down my guitar. Pastor, let me say bye to my friend. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you so much, Jabari's friend. We really appreciate that Jabari can bring that friend along. Yeah, Pastor, I'm back, I'm back. Oh, you're back. Yeah, yeah. So today, before I start my lesson, I have another mm. trick for you. Okay, do you like tricks? Yeah, we love. You them. love tricks? Yeah. Uh, you know, um, God created everything. He okay. created you and he created me. But we have a common enemy. And his name is the devil. The, the devil. devil tries to kill, to destroy, to steal. Oh. Just like we are shredding this piece of paper. A piece of paper? Yeah, we are shredding this piece of paper. Just like that, 
The Ole. devil wants to come and kill us, destroy us. Destroy us. Yes, he sends thieves to come and steal whatever God has given us. Um, so he comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And you know what, uh, Jabali? Yeah. Um, as, as we have destroyed this piece of paper, yeah. um, uh, you know, that's what the devil wants to, des to do to us. Even during this time of coronavirus, we hear so many boys are, got, are getting into issues. Yeah. They are getting into problems. Yeah. Some of them are getting into drugs. Yeah. Like marijuana, you have to be very careful uh, about your company. Because if your friends yeah. uh, smoke marijuana, then definitely you are going to, to smoke marijuana too. If your friends are Christians, then it means you'll also be Christian. Christian. Too. Yeah. So don't let bad company corrupt your good character. The good the morals. The Bible says bad have. company corrupts. corrupts good morals. Good morals or good character. But if your friends are born again, you know you can be born again mm. like them. You can have eternal life. Just like we have seen how the devil tries to destroy our lives, but when we go to Jesus, he gives us a new chance to become children of God. So even though the enemy may try to destroy, when Jesus died on the cross, he died for us so that we don't have to die and we can just be like this, the beautiful wow. piece of illustration. Did you, did you like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You liked it? I like it. Okay, as you can see, it even has like a black flower. It has a flower. Okay, can we give a big clap for Jabali and his friends? Yeah. Okay. And now, let's come to the story. Last time, Moses had just talked to Pharaoh and uh, the Passover. We saw the meaning of uh, that word Passover is the angel of God that passed over the houses of the children of Israel. And why did he pass over the, the houses of the children of Israel, Jabali? Ooh, because... The angel of death... Because the children of Israel uh -huh. put some uh, uh, blood on the door. On the doorpost. Uh, yeah, Correct, the door post. And so when the angel saw the blood, he was able to fly over. He did not get into the houses. And what were they eating in the houses of the children of Israel? They had a meal. The, they had a meal? Yes, and I told you what they were eating. Can you remember? Uh, they were eating uh, food. Yes, what kind of food? Uh, Come on, Jabali. Uh, is it uh, bread? Yes, they were eating bread. Well, how, how was the bread? Uh, unleavened. Yes, without baking powder. Yes, oh, without, without baking yeast. powder. Yeah. Unleavened bread. Yeah. And what else? Uh, Come on, Come on, Jabali. Uh, Children, can you help Jabali at yeah, home? Help me. Yeah, what, what else were they eating? Something that did not taste very well? A bitter. Yeah, it was bitter. What was it? Uh, is it herbs? Yeah, the vegetables they ate. They the were oil. bitter herbs. Yeah. And you know, God directed Moses that when they eat those bitter herbs, if the children complain, say, oh, mommy, we, you know, it's, they are very bitter, that the, the parents will tell them so that we can remember Damn. the bitter life that we had had here in, in, in Egypt. Egypt huh? yeah. And what else did they eat uh, that is yummy? That was yummy. Yes. Was it meat? They ate goat meat or lamb. Yeah, and lamb. And it was roasted. Huh? It was roasted. And they were to eat all of it. It was to be, to be roasted, all of it, with, with the insides, the intestines. Everything that was eaten. Yes, everything was eaten. And do you know what that lamb is, was representing? It was representing Jesus. Yes, Jesus Christ, whose body many years later would be beaten and broken and Down. crucified. And of course, um, but he said, when you eat this bread, yeah. you shall remember me. Okay? Shall remember me. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yes. And, and you know, his blood will make us be accepted by God. Yeah. But anyway, let's go back to the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go back to Goshen and into Egypt, where Pharaoh now set the children of Israel free, and they went to a place called Pihahiroth. Can you say Pihahiroth? 
Pihahiroth. It was right next to the Red Sea. Okay? Yeah. There was a big sea in front, a lot of water. You couldn't even see the other side. And, and what happened is that they camped there, and those who were even carrying and uh, cooked dough, you know, they, they, they left Egypt in a big hurry, yeah. so they came to finish cooking the chapatis uh, right there. So that they can, you know, they left in a big haste, in a big hurry. Not all of them had, pre had, had prepared cooking. And that reminds me that one day the rapture will take place and people will be caught up. Some will be doing some business, some will be waking up to brush their teeth and then will be caught up. So we have to be prepared. Anyway, when they came to that place, they camped there at night and back in Egypt, Pharaoh again hardened his heart. Say, so how did we let those people go? Again? What happened to me? What was I thinking to let my slaves go? Mm. Who will take care of my farm? Who will take care of my clothes when they are dirty? Dirty clothes. I have to go and get those people again. So he called the commander in chief and he said, bring my armor, bring the chariots, bring the soldiers and the best horses in Egypt and the chariots. We are going to go after the slaves that have gone into the wilderness. And so the soldiers came by hundreds, by thousands, and they started now going after Moses and after the children of Israel. And maybe in the early hours of the morning, the children of Israel were still asleep. They could hear the sound of the army. And when they looked, they saw Pharaoh in the distance coming. Quickly. Yeah, and they were, they were so scared. But Moses told them, stop being scared. Be still and see the salvation of God. And Moses stretched his rod on the Red Sea and you know what, Jabali? What? The waters parted. Sparted. The waters parted, and you know, this way and that way, and there was a dry path on the Red Sea. And Moses told the children of Israel, now let's get into the, this salvation that God has provided for us. They went through the water. And you know, there was a cloud that came between the children of Israel and the Egyptians. So that this cloud provided light for the children of Israel. But for the Egyptians, it became dark. dark. So they had to wait because they couldn't move in the darkness. Meanwhile, the children of Israel went on dry land between the waters into the Red Sea. Maybe they could see fish. Maybe they could see sharks or a, whales. A whale. Yes, and the hippos and the crocodiles. And baby shark. Yeah, even baby shark, yes. You know, all the animals and the frogs. But now they walked on dry land. And they walked all the way to the end of the other side of the Red Sea. And when God saw that they had crossed the Red Sea, he removed the cloud that put darkness. And Pharaoh said, oh, now there is a way in the Red Sea. And they could see the children of Israel very far away. Yeah. And they say, let's go after them. Charge. And so they attacked. They drove their chariots into the Red Sea. And when God saw that all of them were now into the, in the middle of the sea, chasing and feeling like they are conquerors, God caused, told Moses, now stretch forth your road again. Moses stretched the road and the waters came back. Mm -hmm. And the Egyptians were drowned. They, they were drowned. overwhelmed. Not many could swim. All of them died. All of them died. The, the horses died. They drowned, they were eaten and the chariots sank to the bottom of the Red Sea. The sharks eat, ate them? Well, maybe some of them were eaten by the sharks, oh, no. but what happens, the Bible says that they all died. You know, Moses told the children of Israel, look at the soldiers for the last time because you'll never see them again. And you know, they danced, the children of Israel danced. Celebration. The Miriam, the sister of Moses, they came with a tambourine, and there is a song of Moses, you know. The horse and the soldiers has he thrown into the sea. They sang, they celebrated. The following day, they started now walking into the wilderness towards Mount Sinai. Yeah. And it was very hot. You know, in the desert, the sun is very hot. They became very thirsty, and they started saying, water, water. So what do you drink when you're thirsty? You drink a lot of water. 
Do you drink a soda sometimes? Uh, not really. It would quench your thirst. Yeah, but you know, children like soda, like yeah, uh, yeah. But they like juice. Like juice? Oh, you like juice? Yeah, juice, pineapple juice, and mango. There was no pineapple juice in the desert. There wasn't. There wasn't. So they had to go into the desert, and they started complaining. Then they came to a place, um, uh, th that that had some water. Okay. The place is called Mara. Can you say Mara? Mara. Mara means bitterness. Bitterness. So the children of Israel saw the water, they ran and they started to drink. But when they drank, they spit it out. They spit it out. Yuck, yuck. Ew. The water was bitter. And now they told Moses, oh man, we need water. We are dying of thirst. And, and, and God told Moses, pick a certain piece of wood and throw it in the water. So yeah. Moses picked a piece of wood as God directed him and he threw it in the water at Mara and the water was healed. Now he told the people, now drink. And the people drank and said, mmm, oh, water. it's sweet, it's, it's yummy, tasty. So they drank and they were, they were quenched, their thirst was quenched. was quenched. So they continued walking the following day and then they were hungry. They said, man, they were hungry. And the children, mom, I want some, some food. And, and you know, what do you like to eat? I like chapati and, uh, and beans and chicken and, and ice cream. Okay, 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 okay. Now, they spoke like Jabari. He wanted chapati, he wanted dengu. He, yeah. wanted, um, he wanted to eat, and, and, and you know, um, they, they, they were bad complainers. They complained. They started by mumbling among themselves. Man, I remember the, the they were saying, I remember the, the melons in Egypt. To eat melons in Egypt. Yeah, I remember those cucumbers. Oh, man, I remember the onions. Then they Avocados. started murmuring. They started complaining and grumbling and blaming Moses. We want food. We want food. We, we want, want food. food. We, we want, want food. food. And, and even the old men and the women were all crying. We want food. We want. Can you imagine yeah. an old man crying to Moses? <laughs> Until Moses would become very angry and he would tell God, why are they complaining to me? I'm not the one who give birth to them. Yeah. You know, sometimes Moses w would be so overwhelmed that he would even speak rudely to God. Oh, no. But you know, God said Moses was the most humble man. So uh, he said, tell them in the morning, there'll be food. And everyone is to gather enough for their family. So the following morning, they came and saw something, substance, white substance on the surface, and they picked it and tasted it. It was yummy. Tasty. It was the angel's food. It was called manna. Manna, the meaning of manna, manna. is what is it? Because they did not know what it was. You know, it's in the desert. And when they tasted it, it was yummy. So they collected everyone, uh, but some did not listen to the instructions. So they corrected like a double portion. And those who corrected too much, that food was rotten in was the morning. Rotten they could in eat the morning. it. And, but those who corrected enough, they had enough. So they ate manna. And you know, uh, Jabadi, during the day, God provided a cloud that covered them so that they would not get very hot. And at night, that cloud would be the cloud of fire. So fire. that they feel secured. Yeah. And they would not feel cold at night. Okay. But they, you know, then after a few days, they started complaining again. Again? Oh. Yeah, they were saying, oh, this manna is too much. Manna in the morning. Manna, manna for the, lunch. Every single time. Manna for supper. Man, it's too much. Manna for four o'clock. <coughs> and they started complaining again to Moses. They oh, too much manna. Man, we don't want this angel food. We remember the onions in Egypt. We remember the cabbages, or we remember the cucumbers, and they started remembering Egypt. Yeah. So Moses, what were you thinking? Are you wanting all of us to die here? You think there were no graves in Egypt that you want to kill us here in the desert? You think that the desert is a good graveyard? Huh? Huh, Moses? And they spoke very nasty to Moses. They mumbled, they complained, and, and God was hearing that. So boys and girls at home, do you complain sometimes? 
you know, God does not like people or children who complain. There are some children saying, Mom, I don't want to get there. I ate get there yesterday. And today I ate to get there. And the other day it was just get there. Yeah. I don't want to get there. I don't want to I hate to get there. And some say, me, I don't want the cabbage. I don't want, I want meat. I don't want, I want chicken. I don't want cabbage. And you know, they, they have a long face that they go to their mommy. Yeah. yeah I don't want cabbage. It's yeah. boring. It's yeah. yucky. Ew. Without knowing that right now, there are some families that are going without food. Yeah, they're because looking for Because of the food. pandemic, the coronavirus, some fathers are not able to come home with some money or with some food. And there are some children who are having to sleep hungry. Without that, there are some children who are praying, oh, that I could get just a plate, a spoonful of githeri or maybe cabbage. So there are some boys who are saying, no, me, I don't want to gully anymore. I want pizza. I want chips and chicken. But, and, and so the children of Israel were complaining, just like, those, like these children who say they just want ice cream and lollipop. Yeah, yeah crisps. And crisps. You like crisps? Yeah, I like crisps. Which is your flavor? Uh, tomato, ketchup. Uh, not barbecue? Yeah, barbecue, I like it, that You too. like barbecue flavor? Yeah. So, uh, you know, it, it's good to have a good heart. And so God was not happy. And he told Moses, tell them tomorrow they'll eat meat. But tell them they'll eat it until it will, it will come out through their nostrils. And so the following morning, God brought quails where the, the quails are small birds, like small chickens. They are very sweet and yummy. So the children of Israel went and captured many. They roasted them. They ate like with gratin. They ate until they were so full that some of them started vomiting and it, it would come through the nose, just like God said. And some even died because of eating too much. When, when God listened to us, what does he hear? Does he hear the murmuring, the grumbling? Does he hear complaining? Or does he hear thanksgiving? You know, let's read together the Philippians. Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. It says, do everything without complaining or arguing. Do not argue. And verse 15, so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a crooked and depraved generation. So, you know, God, God listened to the children as they were complaining, murmuring and murmuring and grumbling and rioting and going into the streets with placards and saying, Moses must go, Moses must go. God was not happy with that generation. And we are told, let us do everything without complaining. If you don't have sugar, take that sugar tea for it is just for a season. If you don't have meat, enjoy the ugali. There are some children who are hungry, some are even dying out of hunger. Can you imagine that? Yeah. Yeah, some children are going through a very hard time. So uh, let us remember that God wants us to give thanks. And when we, we come with thanksgiving, we come with, uh, with acceptance and not an attitude towards God or towards our mommies or towards our daddies, we should not have an attitude and make faces and, and speak negative. Yeah. God wants us to be full of positive. Positivity. To, you know, to think things, good things about our people yeah. and not complain. Yeah. Can we pray? Yeah, we can pray. Let, let's pray. Mighty and everlasting Father, we thank you for the lesson today. Help us to be th thankful, even for the gift of life. Help us to be thankful for the shoes and the clothes that we wear, for the homes, the houses that we stay in. Help us to be thankful for the small little details because God is the one who has given us. We know there are so many people who are in hospital who can't even breathe. They have to use ventilators. They have to use uh, machines to even pump their heart. But with us, God, you have given us a good health. Help us to be grateful and to honor you and to say thank you for everything, for our parents, even for that day, for daylight, for air that we can breathe. We know many are dying with this coronavirus, yet with us we are not sick. Help the boys and children, even the parents, to be grateful. We know that God, one day you're going to visit us and you're going to remove this virus out of our system, out of our air, 
and we're going to go back to normal. We thank you even because the numbers are coming down, the infections. We pray that God one day, there will be no more coronavirus. It will be a thing of the past. We thank and honor you. How many want me to pray with them back home? Because you've been saying some negative words, complaining, maybe speaking bad about the situation. Can, can I pray with you? God, remember everyone who is lifting up their hands. They are saying that you forgive them. They have complained. They have talked about bitter things, murmuring and grumbling. And maybe they have spoken about their parents or authority in a negative way. May you forgive them and may you heal them and may you provide everything they need. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, Jabali and your friend who went home. Uh, thank you so much, boys and girls and parents, for staying with us. We still have one more episode for the life of Moses, and we're going to see next week what will happen in the life of Moses. I think it's, it could be the 12 spies. Let's hear about an attitude towards God. And may God bless you. See you next time. Jabali say kwaheri. Kwaheri, bye. I like the way you, 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 you twang. You have an accent, eh? Okay, bye-bye and see you next bye. time. Bye.